Hey there you guys, welcome back. Today I wanted to do a little update on my Nepenthes. So uh, this one is doing so good, uh, I wasn't expecting it to do so well uh, in the house. Uh, it uh, seems to be liking the lighting. Uh, it's uh, It's got a nice reddish tone to it. I believe this one's a Ventricosa. Um, I can't remember whether you guys said it was something else. Um, it's between two different different uh, types, but I, I believe it's Ventricosa. You guys will let me know. <laughs> Again. So, it's picturing like mad, as you can see. Uh, we did a repotting video. I'll make a uh, Nepenthes um, a playlist so you can see all of them, and I'll link it to this uh, to this video. So look in the top corner for a, uh, for a card. Uh, but as you can see, there's all kinds of pictures growing. I was, I was very pleasantly surprised to see this. Um, since planting it in this self-watering container, um, it, it's just done so much better. Uh, outside, I think it was getting too much light, so I actually moved it to a, uh, a more shadier spot of the yard, and it liked that a lot more. I think it was getting too much full sun. So I'm, I'm learning with these. They want bright light, but they don't want direct light. Uh, and same thing with under the grow lights. This one's actually uh, more light tolerant, but the ones I got from Brad's greenhouse that we we will we'll show you in a second, um, they don't like the high light as much. So I'm going to be moving that to a different area of the grow room under a light that's maybe a little less intense and see what happens. So I wanted to show you this one. So, so nice. The pictures are starting to get so big uh, comparatively because this one has always had relatively small pictures for me and the pictures would die off. Uh, they would dry up. I'm going to have to go in and cut some of these out because there, there's some dead pictures in there. Uh, just just hanging out, uh, just to allow airflow in there. If the pictures are, are dried up and brown, they're going to come off. I'll probably do that after this video. But uh, I don't know whether you remember, this actually had a vine uh, going off, maybe two or three vines, they were longer, and then there were the, the, the basil shoots. Uh, I cut off the vines, and these are the little basil shoots, uh, so it's actually uh, rejuvenated the plant to cut off those, those viney bits. Uh, because the plant wasn't looking so good, as you could probably remember. Again, check out the playlist and, and uh, go through the videos. Um, but yeah, it's doing so much better. Eventually it'll start to vine again, but uh, I like it like this. <laughs> but it's in a hanging basket now, so even if it did decide to vine, uh, we're ready for it. So I'll put this to the side, and I'll bring the camera down. We will look at the ones that I got from Brad's greenhouse, as well as my uh, Nepenthes Miranda. All right, so as you can see, they are quite red. Uh, so this means lots and lots of light. I should be cutting the light levels back a bit. Uh, these should be a nice, uh, a nice yellowy green, maybe with a light uh, a reddish hue to them, but they shouldn't be solid red. So they're getting lots and lots of light. They're uh, they're picturing nicely. This is the what is this one? Elbow? No, this is I may. Uh, a-Y-M-A-E. I don't know whether that's going to come into focus or not. Uh, so this one, the upper pictures are going to have that toilet bowl kind of appearance to them. But uh, right now they just have a regular uh, picture look. And they're, they're really, really dark. And this one is the Maxima Wavy. This one is really, really fun. I like this one. I was worried that it was going to die. Uh, outside it started to die back uh, quite a bit and the leaves were getting smaller and smaller and I got really really worried and then I put it into a shadier spot and things started to, to do a little bit better. Uh, as you can see we've got pitchers off to the side. They're a nice size, not huge, but they're still about two, two and a half inches long and uh, it's still creating more pitchers. This one is a pitcher that's just about to start right here. Um, so it's doing it's doing just fine. And then over here the, the Globosa, I, th I believe that's what it was, Glo yeah, the Globosus, Mariabilis Globosa, it did not survive, unfortunately. But then this one here is the Albo Marginata. This one is doing okay. It, it, I thought it was dead as well, but it started to grow back. And um, it seems to not mind the higher light. As you can see, it's more green with the red center. Um, but yeah, I'm going to hopefully uh, get it into some lower light and hopefully it will start to grow a little bit better. It's a very slow grower, uh, but it had a lot of stress in the beginning of its life. So um, hopefully this will bounce back quickly. 
Uh, there's no pictures on this one just yet, but as long as it's alive, I don't really care. I can wait for that. So I got lots of moss that's growing in here on, on the soil surface. I've also got some peperomia, uh, what are they, the, the string of, uh, string of uh, turtles growing in there because that was around this pot a while back. And uh, yeah, they're, they're, I don't fertilize it so they're probably not going to do very well, but they can stay in there and, and just uh, meander about and add a little bit of interest to this pot. Uh, so again, I'm going to give this a little less light. Um, in a uh, under a grow light that's not as intense and see what happens hopefully the leaf color will change so move that off to the side a bit and then this one here I'm gonna give it a better pot uh, I might actually move it into this self-watering pot uh, this is it's not a great self-watering pot but it will do um, I don't like that this one you can't just dump the water out but that that's fine uh, as long as it stays a little bit moist and raises the uh, the plant up so it's not just sitting in water um, that's okay and it will tell me with the with the um, the gauge how much extra water is in there so I can just dump it out accordingly um, but this is a, a pretty plant Miranda this one I've had a, a bunch of trouble with trying to keep it uh, hydrated obviously for me with the smaller pot it makes it very, very difficult for me to uh, to uh, keep it moist. Uh, so that's why self-watering is a good thing for me. But it's it started to come back. I've really tried to uh, pay attention to the watering a little bit more, and I've been filling up its little tray underneath. Got some uh, dead leaves in there. I should rinse out this tray. I don't want a lot of uh, um, algae development. Uh, so yeah. Anyway. It's doing okay. There's no pictures, but it probably isn't getting enough light. As you can see, the leaves are quite green, but uh, it does have a little bit of a reddish hue. I don't know whether the reddish hue is because of uh, uh, light levels or whether it's because of stress. So <laughs> once I get this repotted, uh, it should it should do a little bit better for me. Uh, let me know if you want to see the repotting video on this. I could do that. It's just going to be very basic but uh, we might be able to do a quick repot video. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this little update. These are all my little Nepenthes. I believe that's all of the Nepenthes. And uh, they're doing just fine, all except for the, uh, the Globosa. So, yeah, hopefully they, uh, they continue to do well. And, uh, and, and when they go outside this summertime, I put them in the right spot so they don't burn. So anyway, show me what you're growing. I'd love to see your carnivorous plants, your Nepenthes. And, uh, yeah, plant, uh, uh, post them to the Plants and Things What's Growing page. Again, I've been posting more to the uh, Plants and Things, the actual Facebook page, uh, so you can post your photos there as well. Um, but it's nicer to post on the Plants and Things What's Growing page because so many people can, can see what you're doing, and um, the, the helpful comment base is, is really lovely. So, anyway, until next time, you guys, happy growing!